Hi, it's Tina with Ideas and Embellishments. Welcome back to my channel. I have before me this notebook. And this is where I keep all of my ideas. So I wanted to look in here real quick. I think it's this one. I made a bucket list of all the things that I wanted to do. So one of the things that I wanna do is um, from Reborn Art and Healing, uh, watercolor stamped book pages. It's always a way to use up our, our stash. So that's what I wanted to do. And it's Reborn Art and Healing. She got the idea from Shanoki Art. I will list both of their videos in the description box. Yay! Okay. Yeah, get you guys one of these. Let's get you guys a, a book. It's just a book that I write, I write ideas in. Okay. So. The first thing we need is book pages. Where can I find some book pages? Oh, I don't know, maybe in a book. Okay, so here's one that I still have been, been working on with for a while. It's just some book pages, nothing, nothing weird. <clears throat> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna maybe do a couple. So let's tear two out. Two of them, two's a good number. You can actually do more than that, but uh, and then you want to tear out two extra. I mean, we'll put those aside. Okay. So the first thing you want to do is you want these to be cut down a, a little bit. So I'm going to take my tr trimmer and get my trimmer, get my trimmer. I'm going to cut these down a little bit. Oops, let me turn this around because I'm like, I want to, um, I would really like to have all of the, all right, and my, trimmer, my trimmer might need to be, I think my trimmer needs a new, a new light. I need a different one. This one's a little newer. Let's try this one. I'm just going to try to shave that down. Oh yeah, that's the way it's supposed to work. Just like so. And then I'm going to do the other side. Let me go ahead and make this. Actually, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this three inches wide. That's a really good, really good thingy. I'm going to cut all of this off. Then I'm going to make, so this is three inches wide. Sorry, I don't know anything about um, metrics. And I'm going to go ahead and make this six inches long. So three inches wide by six inches long. Let me do the other side this way too. And since I know I'm not gonna, did I say three inches wide? Did I say that wide, wide? Three inches wide. Cut the bottom off of here again. I know you love watching me do this, right? Oh yeah, Tina, we love it. We love it, we love it. Okay. So now I have two that are each six inches long and three inches wide. So the first thing that we wanna do is fold this up, fold it in half, and then fold this in half. You can do it, you can do it. Wait, I want to do it the other way. I want this. I'm gonna do it the other way because I want the folded piece to be at the top. And nope, you know, I'm one of these weird people that likes all the words to be right side up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like that. Okay, so we have two of these. Now what I'm gonna do is I am going to glue the inside so that these two pieces are glued together. And this is just to make it sturdy. And we're gonna make, so I'm gonna use this Yoo-Hoo glue stick. <laughs> yoo hoo yoo -hoo. Yeah. All right, one down, one to go. This is, yeah. Okay, that aside. What are you doing? What are you doing? All right, so now I have two of these. 
So now what I want to do is get out my watercolor. Whoops, sorry about that. <laughs> Computer error. I am going to get out some watercolors. I have these. You can use any kind of watercolors if you want to. Any kind of watercolors will do, I think. And you just have to pick out a color. I don't know. I really kind of, I'm trying to do some green, so I'm going to put a little water in there. I think I'm going to do some green, some yellow maybe, maybe a little bit of pink. Look at this violet right here. Come on. And I am going to get a brush. I need to get some water. I will be right back. I got some water. This is just for my paintbrush. And what I'm going to do, I have this paintbrush. Um, any paintbrush really will do. This is a six and it's a Royal and Lang Nickel. I don't even know where I got it. It's just a brush. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get some of this, um, this, and I'm just going to paint on here. I'm going to paint on the, paint on here, just paint, paint on here. Maybe get some, you can actually, now one of the other people, they put like gesso on here. I, I didn't bother. I, I didn't. I'll put some of this on here. If you put water on it first, it it actually does this whole like cool thing where it pulls and stuff. Let's go. Cool. I'm gonna put a little yellow in there. Just make it kind of kind of cool and cool like. Okay. This is kind of this one's a little muddy. What do you think? Is it muddy? Maybe see what happens if I add a little bit of pink over here. Add a little paint. Okay, now we have to wait for these to dry. So while we're waiting for these to dry, we are going to set them aside somewhere. Where am I going to set them aside? I'm going to set them aside. <clears throat> I don't know. <laughs> somewhere. Just put them over here on my book pages. It's kind of drying like mud. Okay. So now we have these two. What I'm going to do with these, so I'm going to cut them. These were, what did I say? Three by six, right? Okay, that. So, what I'm going to do with these, I'm going to also cut these things off. And I, those are three, I'm going to make these four, because I want a half an inch on the other side. Four, maybe. Maybe do three and a half, a quarter inch is fine. Okay, just cut all this off. Let's make these the same, my six. Six, six. Let's make them five. Yeah, I'm just flying by the seat of my pants here. So this is, this one will be three and a half by five. Right, three and a half by five. Let me do this. Let me do this again. So I want two of them. Cut all this stuff off. It's just because I just want it to be mainly book page, you know. Let's say three and a half. Whoops. By five. There's Coda. Oops. Okay, got these about five. Now what I wanna do with these is I'm gonna lay them on my little paper and I am going to, just because an inch for me is easy, I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna get, you don't really need a scoreboard, but I'm gonna go ahead and Use my little scoreboard so I'll know. And I'm gonna go ahead and make them score these at an inch. You have my thing. Excuse my excuse my hand. You want to do this lightly because of course it's fragile newspaper. Okay. Easy peasy. 
This is going to be quick, y'all. You can probably mess make these if you want to. So now what I'm going to do is find me some scraps. Some scraps. Where's all my scraps? Here's my scraps. We're done with the watercolors. I'll this away. It's a, my box of shame. Okay, so I'm going to pick out a couple of scraps that are an inch. This is about an inch. I really like these scraps. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this scrap and we'll fold it over. And that is pretty much pretty perfect right there. And I'm going to take my fuller thing, my cutter, and I'm going to cut off an inch. This is folded. One inch. Okay. And this is one by one of me, one by three and a half. One by three and a half. And I have this folded. So it's folded like that. Okay, and I need to find another one. Let's see what I have. I don't have my pretties. Not like that. Let me keep. I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm looking. Any kind of scrap will do. Any kind of scrap will do. And if you don't have one that you can fold, you can actually just do two. My kids are quite tired. And kids are. I would use. You can also. I can't find anything. Here is some papers that I made. I can just do. I can just. Um, this might be, I'm going to use this, is this two? Nope, not two, but I'll just make, I can just do two of these. If you can't find them, you can just do two. And, because I think this is pretty. I'm going to use this. And these are some papers that I, I made. Um, so they're one by three and a half. That looks crooked to me. What in the world? Well, that's because it is crooked. Kind of, maybe not. This looked crooked to me. I guess it just took a sliver. A sliver. All right, another one. One. By three and a half. So you could do it either way. Okay. Come on, Tina, get with the program. All right. Our things are not drying yet. I might have to blot them with the tissue. It's another thing. If they get kind of like, if you want to, you can blot them with the tissue. I got kind of muddy, but I don't mind brown because this is like a spring journal. We're still letting that. I'm just blotting, blotting. All right. So now we have these pieces. So what I want to do, I'm going to take and put my box of shame away. I thought that was funny. Somebody else called it her box of shame. And I'm like, oh, maybe that's a good name for it. Okay. So we have these. What we're going to do is we're going to fold them like this and then we're going to take these and we're going to put them we're going to glue them to the top and to the inside and we're going to either use glue stick but i think i'm going to use my art glitter glue if it's going to come out or we're going to uh oh what is it doing no all right time out for glue. What's going on with my art glitter glue? Is it leaking out of the top? That's going to be bad. I don't know. Maybe I just didn't have it um, closed properly. I put way too much glue. This is way too much glue. Like super much too much glue 
Let me find my tissue. Wipe that up. Be kind to yourself. Always have tissues or baby wipes around. Here's a baby wipe. For glucose spinach. I know my baby wipes about had it too. They're not, they're no longer wet. They're dry baby wipes. Okay. So we got this one on this side. And then we're going to put the other one on the other. What is going on with my glue? I think maybe... I think maybe it's time to get a new thing. Is it leaking or something? I don't know. Excuse me while I sort it out. I don't know what's going on with it. It's like it's acting all weird. Okay. Okay, I think it might be cracking around the bottom. So that's not good. Okay, so I'm gonna put this one down there. It's a little, looks like it might be a little short, doesn't it? Hmm. I'm pretty sure. Oh well, this one's gonna be on the bottom, so I'm not too worried about it. Well, this one. I am just going to take this one and put it I'm just going to fold it over the page. Oh, maybe it's okay now. Put this here. Over. And there you go. Make sure it's like like that. It's fine. Okay, then we're gonna ink it because I like to ink everything. Ink it. How y'all is? Everybody doing okay? I had a nice day. I went to the park with my daughter and my grandkids. And they were having, they were having a, one of uh, my daughter's groups, recovery groups, was having a cookout. So that was kind of neat. We got to do that. And meet some of the people that she knows. And hot dogs, hamburgers, sodas. That's really nice. It was a very nice. It was a nice day. It was pretty here. It was like a little chilly. Not really, not really warm, you know, not warm really, just kind of chilly. But. I think it's trying to have spring. Trying. There's trying to have spring. Okay, so now we have to really wait for these to dry. So I will dry these and I'll be right back. These are mm, this one's still a little damp, but I, it might be okay. But I'm gonna go ahead and I wanna ink around these two. Okay. And if you know, not everybody likes to ink, so don't like to ink, don't ink. <laughs> so the next thing I want to do is I want to get out my stamps. I have a lot of them here. Ooh, stamps. A lot of these I got at the dollar store. Um, and I, you know, I will tell you that some of the ones at the dollar store work really well and others, not so much. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to do uh, a dragonfly and a butterfly. I think that's what I want to do. So I'm going to get my little stampy block thingy. And 
and I'm going to get some of this black archival ink. I'm going to ink it up real good. And I'm going to put this right in the middle. Make sure, hopefully it'll give, give me a good impression. Beautiful, I like that. Okay, that pretty, that came out good. Sometimes, you just never know. And I'm, the other one I'm gonna do is this pretty dragonfly. I'm gonna do him, put him on the other one. You know, sometimes, like I said, sometimes they come out really good and sometimes they don't. Okay, I don't know if you can see this or not. I don't know. I'm gonna go for it, I'm gonna go for it, man. I'm gonna commit. Okay. Beautiful, okay, I like this. It turned out really well. For a change. <laughs> I use these little, I got these little photo albums from the Dollar Tree and I put my stamps in there. Okay, so now we have stamps. And now I'm gonna take my lovely hole punch. This hole punch right here. This is a, I, I don't know, it's the size. <laughs> and then I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna put like a little thing right here. Now you know what we're gonna make. Now you know, right? Now you know. Can't keep anything away from you. All right, that's cool. Now we're gonna go ahead and ink around there a little bit. And now we're gonna go back to these. <laughs> now you know what we're doing. We're gonna put some glue here around the edges. Am I in frame? My bum in frame. Sorry if I haven't been in frame. Watch, she's like, half of this video we didn't even get to see because you weren't in frame, Tina. I'm sorry. We take this and we put this here. And now this, you can also embellish these other ways if you want to, you know, like add more stuff. In fact, I think what I am going to do is sew around these. I think. I think they would be really pretty if you sewed around them. This probably could have gone up a little farther, but. Uh, well, hmm. Whoops, whoops, whoops. I'm gonna put it up a little bit higher. It's a little bit forgiving, not really. <laughs> what are you doing, Tina? I, I, I want it up higher, I want it up higher. I just want it. I want it. I want to do it up higher. So I want to make sure that it's covered like here. So yeah, like that. And I think I might trim a little bit of this off. You know, you just play with it, whatever you think. You know, <clears throat> so this is a good idea. You can use your book pages. These are cute little pockets. You can put some different ephemera in here. So what you do with this is you would glue this to your junction. And then you would be able to have, well, this probably wouldn't work because it's too big. But anyway, you know what I mean. So. Um, another thing you could do, <coughs> excuse me, I like the stamps, um, <coughs> excuse me, I'm sorry, pardon me, pardon me, and you get some of these labels, and, um, maybe, I think a label would be, oh, yeah, let's do label. To 
give it a little more interest. <coughs> Goodness, let me take a drink. Sorry. Um, I have all these labels. I get a lot of my labels from Tracy Fox. And of course, some of them just come in, like if you get ephemera from um, Tim, Tim Holtz, you can also get labels from that. Um, you can also maybe stamp up here or our terms are cash. That's kind of cute. Anyway, anyway, the sky's the limit. You guys, you do you, boo. And uh, let me know in the comments what you think about this. Um, if you want to see, I'm trying to figure out how to use up some of these crazy book pages. Um, this is such a cute idea, I think. Anyway, thanks for watching today. Thanks for all my new subscribers. I really appreciate everybody. And hopefully, um, I hope to see you again soon. Happy crafting.